the Queen has decided to leave Buckingham Palace for good, according to reports. The monarch, 95, spent a large portion of the coronavirus lockdown at Windsor Castle with her husband Prince Philip until his death in April last year. Sources claim the couple rediscovered the happiness of their early years together during this time, and were tended to by a small team of staff. According to a report in the Sunday Times, the Queen will never fully return to Buckingham Palace and she is believed not to have spent a night there since March 2020. The palace is also currently being reserviced, as renovators carry out works that will last until 2027 which may have posed a factor in her decision-making. Royal author Hugo Vickers told the Sunday Times, Windsor is the place she loves. She has her memories with Prince Philip there, she has her ponies there and family nearby. It makes sense. In recent months, the Sovereign has conducted a number of engagements from her Berkshire home, including virtual audiences, and in-person meetings with dignitaries and officials. Windsor also puts the monarch closer to two of her four children, as Andrew and Edward live nearby. The Duke of York occupies Royal Lodge on the Windsor estate. While Prince Edwards and his wife Sophie Wessex and their two children live a 10-mile drive away at Bagshot Park. While residing at Windsor, Prince Charles, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Princess Royal are frequent visitors. Recently, the monarch admitted to feeling frail by joking as you can see, I can't move during an engagement with two defense services secretaries. It is believed, as a result, courtiers are also keen to cut down on the Queen's travel. Through much of the pandemic, the monarch has held her weekly meeting with Prime Minister Boris Johnson by telephone rather than in person, a feat believed to still be the case today. The Queen had found solace in her work following the death of Prince Philip last April, and has continued to carry out her official duties including receiving her daily red box of official papers. These include official documents regarding the country or the Commonwealth. She was, however, forced to slow down on medical advice in October last year after spending a night in hospital. Buckingham Palace confirmed the visit, and that the monarch was going in for unspecified tests, and since then her public appearances have become rarer. Two weeks ago she was also forced to cancel several engagements after catching Covid. Upon first sharing news the monarch had caught the virus, the palace stressed she was experiencing a mild bout of the illness. The statement read, Buckingham Palace confirm that the Queen has today tested positive for Covid. Her Majesty is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms but expects to continue light duties at Windsor over the coming week. She will continue to receive medical attention and will follow all the appropriate guidelines. The Queen is expected to make two in-person appearances this month. Her next planned engagement outside Windsor Castle is the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey on March 14. The event marks her first official event away from a royal residence in five months. She is also expected to attend, alongside other royal family members, a service of thanksgiving for Prince Philip at the Abbey on March 29. A royal aide told the Times that the Queen will want to take part in the festivities planned for over the four-day bank holiday weekend in June for her Platinum Jubilee.